on the battlefield, on the wall, fighting to help people longer than any of us. Sai is the older brother of the group. Sai is the one who edges us along. Now, you may wonder how a meeting works. Well, first of all, you, uh, let me start with this. You may wonder how I got to be executive director and CEO in the, in the first place. Um, as I recall, and everybody has a different memory of this, but as I recall, I was at a meeting with them and we were I'm hashing out the world's problems. And I decided that because mom in the kitchen always has for us hot water, well for me anyway, hot water cornbread, chicken wings, some greens, and banana pudding. So I decided, since they were busy arguing with each other, I would go and investigate the food in case the terrorists had come through the back door and done something to it. I got there and thought, you know what, this smells so good, I'll sample it, because you know, you just never know. Maybe it's not up to her usual standard. It was delicious. So. By the time I got to my third helping, and, it's, and Willie's right, it's always Cy, because we, we go back and forth, you know, getting <laughs> Cy causes problems. Cy hollered out, hey doc, what do you think of something or other? And okay, what I was saying was, Cy, I'm busy checking the food for terrorist activity. It came out as nom, 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 nom. Cy hollered, oh my God, Quincy's eating. Then I heard chairs moving and stuff and folks running. Everybody comes running in the back. I started to stay back there with them, but I hate to see four men fight over one chicken wing and all the others were gone. And that's just embarrassing. So I went back to the front and sat at the dining room table. I said, and I said very clearly, okay, now we're gonna have a vote for executive director. Everybody raise your hand. And I knew they were gonna vote for themselves. But the only thing I could hear from the kitchen was, now that's good, ooh, that's good. So I said, okay, well, I guess they go along with me. So I voted. So there was one vote yes and four abstentions. And that's how I got the job. So now the big mystery is solved. You tell everybody that's what happened. Um, Sylvester Bounds has been on the wall faithfully for years. I thank God that God sent him into my life to be a part of this team. Sai is an absolute master, and what's more impressive for those of you may, that may have never had the privilege of matriculating into the higher <laughs> halls of academia, Sai is self-taught. But he is an absolute master of computer technology and cutting-edge computer technology at that. Google Plus, blogging, all these terms I now throw out, I got all of that because Sai has drilled me and taught me over the last eight months. Um, he is a magnificent human being. If you need computer work done, certainly software work done, Sai is the person I highly recommend that you refer to. He will now come and he has exactly four minutes and 59 seconds because we're giving one second to win. All right, go right ahead. Give him a hand, please. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to. Uh, what people are interested in, and it took me years to, to recognize this. Thank you, Doc. And, and You're I, I, I just, I'm honored to work with uh, Mother Hampton. Use your mic. Turn your microphone. I'm honored to work with Mother Hampton and with Bill and with Doc uh, and with Willie and Larry. These are just some uh, brilliant uh, uh, people of great integrity. I'm honored to work with them. Uh, we want to bring a new thought to uh, our community. Uh, it's going to go beyond our community. Uh, we need to start brainstorming. Uh, we need to start uh, 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 listening to each other as opposed to talking past each other. Uh, and, and we really don't have a choice. I don't think a lot of us really understand that we don't have a choice. We need to quit pointing fingers and start communicating with one another. So that's what this organization is about. Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I want to let you guys know, I follow uh, Cutting Edge technology, social media, cutting edge. I follow and interpret current and emerging technology and its impact on, on communities of color. That's what I do. So I want to let you know that Google Plus is going to be a game changer, okay? And we're going to be able to create circles where individuals, uh, a relationship with people like myself who are cutting edge and we just want to get the information curated and get it to you. So. That's what you have to do. You can't get the information uh, properly unless you get it from the pioneers, you know. And there's not a lot of black pioneers, I'm going to tell you that. Because ain't nobody really trying to uh, uh, interpret it for our community. You understand? Gotcha. Yes, sir. You understand what, I, what I've done? What God has allowed me to do? 
nobody's interpreting it. We got a lot of brilliant people, but they downtown. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. Okay. I, I get the information and then interpret it to our community. You need to be running to me. Uh -huh. You know, and because and, and I, I don't I don't say that egotistically, because uh, uh, when you really understand, you know that this doesn't belong to you. You know, uh, it, it, you know, you, it doesn't belong to me at all. I got to share it. I got to share it. And, and, and so we got to communicate with one another. So we got to break that down. Now, what I want to say is that non for profits, you should start studying about 15 minutes a day uh, Google Plus. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, so this thing is now going to be able to get into our community and non profit. But you got to quit resisting it and start checking it out. It's going to be a game changer. Google Plus, okay, Facebook, uh, I, even me, I don't have uh, uh, that many members on Facebook I was never comfortable with because you got to talk to everybody. A lot of people are not, with Google Plus, you can talk to individual people and that's what you want to do. You want to you wanna get industry related information. John Porter, branding expert right there. If I communicate with John Porter, I want to get cutting edge information that relates to what he does. Uh, uh, you know, uh, brother, brother, brother Prentice right there. He teaches brothers and sisters in our community, brilliant. He teaches brothers and sisters how to uh, 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 take insurance and creatively create wealth with it. So what do we do with him? I, I, I shoot him information related to that. There's a lot more, uh, you know, but anyway, we, you just need to ask questions. We need to talk this thing out. Nobody knows it all today. It's, it's all about communication. And what you thought you knew, come on now, you got to forget that. That's right. You got to, we got to, it's about right now. It is about right, it's always about right now. All it's right. never about what you thought you knew. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I've talked too much, but I'm telling you, <laughs> we need to communicate <laughs> with one another. We're going to be here. That's what we're going to do. Uh, uh, I told Bill and Quincy, you know, that me and Larry and Willie, they said, Bill and Quincy going to milk the cow and we're going to hold the tail. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> your man, man. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is my friend. You know, in every group, you got one adult. And uh, when we get together, we squabble fight over food. In fact, we fight over pretty much, much anything. The way, way a meeting actually goes is meeting starts, call the meeting order, Willie immediately attacks Cy about something. Cy attacks Willie back. Bill attacks both of them. I attack Bill. And this pretty much goes up. But there's always, thank God, one adult in the room. And his name is Larry Stafford. Larry's the only grown up in the room. All right, Larry. He doesn't crack a smile no matter how ridiculous we are. Sometimes I even feel sorry for him because he just sits there and listens like, Lord. And I know he keeps thinking, they're going to grow up someday. No, we're not, but he hopes we are anyway. Larry is, is our investment specialist. And you, these days, you need an investment specialist. He's a brilliant fellow, but Larry is not a public speaker. So since he is not that crazy about the mic, he's coming up and do what he does. If he uses a minute and decides he doesn't want to do anymore, I'm fine with it. If he uses all five minutes, I'm fine with that too. Larry, do your stuff. Ooh. Give him a hand. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I'm actually here to talk about two things, the uh, Civil Rights Movement and uh, President Obama's initiative. Uh, maybe about 30 years ago, I was watching TV, watching the Civil Rights Movement. So when I got 20, I was able to get a job from the Civil Rights Movement. It had to be a sheet metal job. And sheet metal was the last one to let blacks in. So what happened was that, um, I'm going to say this little poem and then I'm going to move on to the, to the. I say as I, I close my eyes and what do I see? People marching so we could be free. I open my eyes, what do I see? Kids killing each other. It could be me. So that's, that's, the, that's the thing about the civil rights. <coughs> and then about a, a, Obama's initiative. Uh, Obama, he's got this initiative where he's, he's speaking about import. He's speaking about uh, colleges, you know, tuitions and stuff like that. And what's actually happened is I'm ready to, to help try to develop a research center so we can research when these policies have been made 
we can research and help the people. I want to know a show of hands that anybody knows that uh, uh, Panama Canal is being expanded. So we need to know about those things. Uh, I didn't know that. I got uh, the Panama, Panama Canal. Panama Canal. Yeah, yeah. It's being, it's being expanded. Okay. I happen to buy some land in Arizona, and it's, it's right off of the NAFTA highway, and that's being expanded. So what's actually happening is the jobs have went overseas, and that's where they're going to stay. And Obama, with these initiatives, he telling us 90% of the growth is in emerging market, and that's where we must look. Thanks, everybody. Well done. Well done. Good man. Well done. Si, you heard for nothing. Larry, you handled your business, man. Give him another hand, please. Well done. The last person is our little brother. Everybody picks on this cat. Let him tell you he is so long-suffering. Truth is, he starts to. 99% of the mess that we go through. Okay.